Who would have guessed? We can make it the way that we want it. Who would have guessed? I could wake up to this in the morning. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another reaction video. This time, the reaction video is coming from no other than CJ the Champ. Now, I haven't did any videos from him in a while, but I see he got some new stuff coming up. So I saw this that came up and everything. Yeah, basically is talking about Sukuna. Sukuna, which I'm guessing that's how I pronounced it. Um, and saying that he's a dog. Yeah. But other than that, it's most most disrespect, disrespectful moments in anime history. And this is number five. So he did previous ones before. Eventually, I will get to those. Probably make those sometime later on this weekend. Sometime next week. But we will get around to the actual, you know, ones before. So other than that, um, if you're a subscriber, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate you very much. If you are not, please hit the subscribe button. I want to earn it as best way as possible. Like always, you know, hit the like button, always comment, you know, comment your favorite spot. Or if you feel like it, you know, just say hi, you know, that always helps to comment and do everything there is to make the channel grow. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. And I keep forgetting to mention about a gaming channel that I'll be having. So I do have a gaming channel. Link is in the description. So make sure you check that out. Or you can check it up, check it up at the top right corner over there. You know, over that way. Yeah. Check over there. It'll pop up early, you know, early in the beginning of videos and stuff. Gaming channel. Just click on that. Subscribe to that. I will have more videos dropping for that this weekend. So and then that we're gonna jump right into this video. Uh, see what this is all about. What's so going on with this? This man to the fight. So then he says, "All right, my boy, class is in session. What? Today we will be learning how to beat an ass 101." I would like to thank our volunteer right here. Uh, really? I don't even know his name, but he will be used as a demonstration today. I beg your pardon. Oh Lord, this is gonna be crazy already. It's going to be crazy. I already, I already know. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time for another installment of the most disrespectful moments in the Yeah, history. I got to check out the, the other four. That we observe some of the most outrageous, most outlandish moments that really? ever seen by the human eye. That just make you look at the screen like, well, goddamn. What did they do to make them oh, is that mad? Oh, so, wow. Without further ado, roll them. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. First All up right. to the plate is Sukuna being a dog. So Itadori okay. and Fushiguro So I said it right. Ugly ass boy. What the f*** is what that? What is that? Jesus Christ, bro. That is just ugly. So Itadori tells Fushiguro, all right, listen, bro. I'm just going to have to let that dog come out. So Sukuna comes out and he's like, hey, what's good with you, cuz? So the curse bags up and he's like, oh, hell no. Nah. Who is this thug ass? Nigga? So then he starts talking to him like, boy, I tell you, boy, you ugly. Why are you just going to talk to him like he ain't nothing? Fish, a barnacle nigga. So he jumps back and starts charging up. Is that a Hadouken? So Brad shoots it, but he just really? stops it with one hand. What? And then he looks at him and says, You ugly lip motherfucker. Boy, I oughta to beat your ass. So hey. he's planting him into the ground. Then he starts looking at him like, Damn, cuz the fade just started and your ass already on the ground. Nigga, you best get your sorry ass. Oh up. my god. The dog stepped on him. Really? He tries to grab him, but he rips his arm off. Who said, Damn, boy, that girl. How he lift the arm off? And yo, he is laughing while he is doing this. Yo, this man is a demon. So later on, while he is continuing to torment this wow. man, the curse comes down and starts laughing at him. So then he starts looking at him like, Why you got that big ass grin on your face? You think shit is sweet or something? Goof ass, boy, I'll show you what's sweet. So then he hits him with the domain expansion. Oh, Lord, what's about to happen now? Oh boy, turn this man into a fish fillet cooked well done. So then he says, I little nigga. Dad, that was it. Out now. Hello, can you hear me, nigga? But then he gets no response, so he's like, huh. Demon time, 
So about a minute later, he pops up right behind Fushi Girl. So he's like, what's good, cuz? Just to let you know, I'm about to beat your ass. But before I beat your ass, I'm going to eat this crusty ass finger. Ugh. Mm -mm. Nasty. The flavors are melting on my tongue. Wish I had a little bit of salt on it, though. I ain't going to lie to you, my Come boy. on, bruh. Wow. Time to beat your ass. So Fushi Girl weep, starts swinging, weep. but look at this man. He is weaving all of his pockets. He's just missing. He's in his pockets. Oh, weep. nah, bro. That's how you know you're done when the nigga don't even want to take his hands out. That's so too much, yo. Yeah. So Sukuna's like, damn, he messing with him. Shit. Come on now, put your back into it. Oh, boy, gave him the backhand of the century. So Fushi Girl trying everything. He trying to jump him with the snake, the owl. He just eating it. Oh, my God. So then he comes back down, grabs him, and he says, come on now, there's a whole world out there we got to see, nigga. Yo, bro, wow. check whole body. He said, a whole new world. Then bro oh starts my God. ping pong with him. Boom. Bro said, come on now, get your sorry ass up. So as this man is flying through the buildings, the owl Dang, is bro. Him up. He right behind him, and he like, boy, that ugly ass knocked out. Set your ass down. <laughs> Oh, wow. That beating didn't even make any sense. No, it didn't. This man for just for absolutely no reason at all. <laughs> My God, yo, this man is disgusting. Yeah, when the rest of this manga gets animated, Homeboy is most definitely getting a full video. Uh, yeah. Like perfect, Cole Seltzer. Most definitely. This dude, something else. The new best way to make money online that nobody's talking oh, about boy. is something you've never heard of before. It's there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up on the list is Gojo's PowerPoint presentation. So while bro is on the Gojo, way to meet the Gojo, person, Gojo, he I heard it driver, out. Yo, stop the car. So as the dude leaves, he says, I, right, you could come out now. So then this ugly ass boy come from the top With row one the eye. Said, What's good, Nyoko? Get ready to become a pack. So he started come on, man. everything. Bro threw some fat ass mosquitoes at him. He came from the side and made him Ghost Rider. And then he decided to hit him with a gut check. So then after all that, after he all that, clean. he has taken no damage at all. So Volcano No damage. Like, wow. Huh? What type of hacks you got? So then Gojo's like, you realize you cannot hit me right so then he says come here don't be shy come a little closer touch my hand so he tries to touch his hand but he can't so i was like huh the f is this so then gojo's like you feel that this is called my infinity aka my plot armor so do you want to know what mm. you are buddy you're fodder good god bro hey. to check the life out of this man then dog said hold on i ain't even done yet Bitch -ass Ooh. Then he says, oh, you really thought you was going to sneak me and get away with it? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shoot. Ah. oh, my God. Dog sent him flying and look at him. He's dragging that the down. I was like, get your bum ass out of my face. Oh, my him, God. He's dragging his dirty ass through the ground. Then he tries to hit him with a gallic gun. Then he comes from behind and he's like, well, if you don't sit your goof ass down. Into the water you go. Oh wow. My God, bro is gone. So then Gojo's like, oh, this is a perfect time. So this man leaves, goes and sees Itadori, and he's like, yo, do you want to watch me beat this nigga's ass? Huh? So he brings really? this man to the fight. So then he says, all right, my boy, class is in session. Today we will be learning how to beat a nigga's ass 101. I would like to thank our volunteer right here. Uh, I don't even know his name, but he will be used as a demonstration today. I beg your pardon? So then dog, <laughs> like, you mother... Hey, stop playing with my name, nigga. So then Gojo's like, <laughs> your name? Buddy, you are weak. They don't have Trash. nothing, man. I bet you half of the people that watch this show don't even know your name. I don't know your name. I don't even remember his name either. Hold on, hold on. Let's look him up real quick. Volcano Head. Oh, my God. Jugo? Jogo? Yeah, let's just go with Jugo. All I know is he looked like Squidward when he had the volcano on his head. But anyway, <laughs> bro got pissed. He was like, stop playing with my name. So then he uses his domain expansion, and he done turned this bitch into Bowser's castle. So then Goku's okay. like, all right, Yuji, pay close attention. So bro takes off the blindfold and hits him with the domain expansion. Beautiful nigga void. Really? So bro's like, ugh. What is Are you serious? But who is this beautiful ass nigga? 
But then Gojo what comes in the world? Like, you know, man, it sucks being ugly. Trust me, I get it. Well, actually, what I'm is going? What's it, happening right now, bro? But uh, let me put you out of your misery. Wow! He just ripped his head off with one hand, and to add to the disrespect, he stomped on his head. Like, dog, the fact that he basically used this man as a punching bag to be an example after he just tried to sneak him, and he left mid-fight? <laughs> Bro, that's disgusting. Ooh, All right, boy. And gentlemen, our next moment is more JJK. This actually would have been a Jujutsu Kaisen special if the last one wasn't JJK. But anyways, Toto beating the absolute brakes off of Fushiguro. Now, you see, this moment isn't okay. just disrespectful. Nah, this is also one of the most down, bad, horrendously moments to ever exist. So Toto okay. and Mai pull up and they talking mad shit. Mai said, heard your classmate died. Tell me, how hard did that pack hit? So then Toto walks really? up to Fushi Girl and he says, Hey boy, what's your type? Depending on the answer that you give me will determine if I beat the shit out of you or not. What? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> this has to be one of the most wildest things <laughs> I've ever heard come out of somebody's mouth. This is determined to run this man's fade what? if he does not like the exact same girls that he likes. So then he's like, come on now, speak up. How you like him, nigga? This is that stupid. Tall with a fat ass boy come on now i ain't waiting all day so he's like i right, uh as long as she has good character she's a 10. okay so then toto's like damn bro you got bad taste huh? so he blitzes this man good god close line from hell then he walks up to him and says i knew it just by first glance you a bitch ass nigga. So Fushi Girl pulls out these frogs, but bro flash steps and takes them to Suplex City. Ooh. So then he starts pummeling them. He's like, fight back, nigga. You ah. got bad taste and you sorry as hell. So then he grabs his face and slams him into the wall. And he's like, hold on, little boy. I ain't done yet. He starts lifting this man up through the entire building. Good God. Yo, this is just brutal. So he's like, come That's on now, fight much. back, little boy. So as he's about to hit him again, Toge has to come and hit him with the chill out, chill out. Then Panda come in and he like, yo, what are y'all doing? Then Toto says, his taste is trash. Let me beat his ass. But he's like, ah, forget it. But next time I see your bitch ass, your taste better change, boy. Yo, the fact that this man Toto almost beat this man Fushi Girl to death because his taste in woman is bad. Like, uh, That's just what? crazy. Bro basically took your waifu is trash to the extreme. I, I'm just at a loss for words. Oh, boy. I couldn't. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Our final moment. Probably, if not, one of the most disrespectful moments. Hey, this is the most minutes. disrespectful one. Perfect Cell violating Vegeta. Lord have mercy. What can I say about this one? This needs no explanation. But you know what? First of all, <laughs> these two buffoon ass niggas. Let's start off with this cocky bastard. That Saiyan Pride really had to kick in in full gear, huh? Said, Bro, cocky really bastard. Let this man go absorb 18. And he was attacking trucks. The only person with the only person that was going to help him. Moment. Everybody know this door. Dog, bro, you deserve to get your ass handed to you. Oh, and don't think I forgot about this bald bastard. You had one job. But you had you one job? One little smooch. One little <laughs> puck on the cheek. And you was whipped into some cyborg coochie. Bro said, f*** the earth. She bad as hell. <laughs> man, oh, man. I can't, yo. I can't. As much as I look. As much as I just want to sit up there and try not to laugh about it, but this is exactly what it was. Is exactly what it was. I couldn't. Like, that's exactly what it was. Man, did these decisions come to bite y'all in the ass? So after Cell absorbed 18 and became perfect, bro is just glorified by himself. Man, this is on Narcissist level 100. And look at Virginia. I know, right? Dumbass. Wow, he looks less yeah, intimidating. Yeah, shit for I that. I thought we already learned this lesson with Frieza. When they look less intimidating, I know, right? 
So then Krillin goes in exactly. and attacks this man. And bro ain't even paying him any attention. Man's is like, wow, 18 really had feminine hands. Then Trucks came in and started attacking him. And he is still paying them no attention at all. Then he ate the Destructo disc. Then he turns around and he's like, so you want to play little nigga? All right, then. Witness perfection. Look at him. He's skipping to him. Then he gets up in his face and he's like, boo. Then bro breaks his wow. neck. And he is out cold. And look at him, he's like, uh, weak ass nigga. 16, you wanna do something? Yeah, that's right. Stay your big ass right there. So then here comes Vegeta. So he's like, all right, I see you got that perfect jawline and everything now. So you ready to scrap? Then Cell says, uh, I guess you'll be a decent warm up. So Vegeta just starts throwing everything, but bro is just blocking it. Bro's like, my, my prince, you're gonna have to do a little more than that to make me try now. So then Vegeta hits him with this kick and he's like, yeah. I did that. <laughs> so I was just looking at him. So looking like, what are you doing? Trash exactly. Boy. So Vegeta's like, huh? What is this? And Cell's just laughing at him like, <laughs> and you came up with that corny ass name called Super Vegeta. Now let me show you how to throw a kick. So he kicks Ooh. the life out of this man. Look at him, he's flying through mountains. Flying through he mountains. Falls into the ocean. So Cell just starts talking. He's like, wow, you was talking all that good shit a second ago. Now look at your sorry ass. So then Vegeta does personally my favorite attack in anime. He starts charging up the final flash. And Cell is just standing there watching him do it. Bro's looking at him like, man, you're putting on a great light show, buddy. This rifle's a right? firework show. So then Vegeta just starts calling to him. Cell, you bitch ass, fuck ass nigga. If you think you hot, I know, right? Then stay your ass exactly. Right there. So Cell's like, I oblige. So then Vegeta hits him with the final flash. And look at me like, oh my god. Oh. Still to this day, I wonder, what poor planet did that blast end up landing on? So everybody's like, oh my god. He stunned it. Like he Father did it. Stun it. So he blew nah. off half of Cell's chest. So Cell says, oh, he actually hit me, damn it. So Vegeta's like, yes, I did it. I am him. So while Vegeta keeps on laughing, Cell says, stop <laughs> laughing, damn it. <laughs> like, for real, stop laughing. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. It's just a look on his face that gets me every time. I know, says, right? Did you forget that I had Piccolo cells as well, you dummy? So then Vegeta just losing it. He just starts spamming keyblasts. But we all know. When Vegeta resorts to using this spam key blast move, it's over. So Cell it's just over. walks through it and just slaps him. So he kicks him to high heaven and hits him with the spike. Ooh. Yeah. The winner is, I went to college. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well. That was the most disrespectful moments in anime history five. Basically a JJK special with a little DBZ dab in there. I will have a poll on my Twitter and my IG later to see if y'all want homie right here on the table. I could either add him now or wait till the next art gets animated, which I've already read by the way. So we'll decide that on the other platforms, but uh, hope y'all enjoy. Make sure to sub to the second channel, follow you on IG and Twitter, and uh, I am out of here. Wow. That is disrespectful at all, at any, all costs. Wow. But he does need a seat at the table. But other than that, if you're new, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment on your favorite, you know, your favorite spot in the video, or either just say, hey, any of those will work. If you are already a subscriber, thank you for watching and keep up the good work, keeping this channel flowing and moving along. Day by day as time go by. Other than that, this is Bob signing off. See you in the next video. And yes, stay in the know with this giveaway. Trust me, you don't want to regret it. Other than that, this is Bob signing off. Good morning and good night, wherever you may be. Who would have guessed? We can make it the way that we want it. Who would have guessed? I could wake up to.
to this in the morning. Wrist I ball, my phone disco ball. Like my wrist at all. Wrist I ball, my phone disco ball. Like my wrist at all. You know I came in and floss and I'm actually awesome. I can't let them get in my way. This brand is full like the Apri and Meyer. The sauces, I need to go get them a praise. You know I'm straight up to 10, spinning like.